morning and welcome to another episode of Drive Time with Robin and African Payment Solutions joining up our multinational e-commerce companies with payments across Africa what they can expect to happen in the future and today I thought I'd run through uh, a blog I did recently on which coins we think might be suitable for payment across Africa um, I'll do a second one on some wild cards but just to take the tokens and coins that we think are closest to being mainstream for adoption into the future. So let's kick off with the main one that's uh, Bitcoin. Uh, we couldn't do this without having Bitcoin, uh, although it's not that well geared for payments, but with Lightning Network, it looks like uh, that as a second layer solution, Bitcoin could be a forerunner. Then we go to Bitcoin Cash, where our friend Roger Burr did a fork of Bitcoin with his friends and they made a bigger block size to bring down transaction costs so that um, Bitcoin could be used more like money, so he called it Bitcoin Cash. And then we have Dash, which is um, for emerging markets. They've done a good job of, for example, in Venezuela, where they've created some on and off ramps and they've helped people use it as a store of value and a means of payment and a means of getting their money out of the country. Then we have Monero, which is a well-established privacy coin, uh, initially used in the dark markets, but now everybody's going privacy, even Bitcoin starting to build in Schnorr signatures. So Monero is uh, used widely for adult and for casino and now is used in the mainstream. Then a competitor to Monero, or let's say a different flavor of privacy coin, which is very successful, is Zcash. So, similar nature and use. And then we have Litecoin. Uh, Litecoin is a fork of Bitcoin and is kind of a test bed for Bitcoin uh, and has held its rankings in terms of market cap and could be used for payments. Then XRP. Uh, XRP is a little more centralized than the rest, even though the debate or there's the jury's out on that one. XRP is mainly used for institutional transfers like the banking rails. It's from a company called Ripple, uh, which is a very successful private company. And yes, it's used behind the scenes for banks to move money across the world, or across jurisdictions. Then we have Tron, which is Justin Sun's coin, uh, which him and his, uh, his cronies have um, done a great job of marketing it and doing mergers and acquisitions that will make Tron a widely used payment coin. And then Stellar Lumens XLM, which is a uh, fork of XRP, which is actually by the founder, one of the founders of XRP. In fact, I think it might have been the original founder of XRP. And he was a bit frustrated that XRP has become an institutional coin and he said that wasn't the ethos in the first place. So he founded Stella or forked XRP to form Stella, which he is uh, promoting more as a community driven coin and we might see a lot more of that across Africa. Then we have Terra. Uh, Terra is a, um, we tend to focus a lot on, you know, Europe, Africa, America when it comes to our view of um, coins and tokens and the crypto market. But actually the East is really buoyant in terms of um, the use of digital currencies and developments and, and so on. Um, and Tron, uh, sorry, Tron and Terra actually is one of the most, the newest and could be a pretty crazy market leader. It's by a guy that, um, Daniel, somebody who was extremely successful in e-commerce in Korea and um, he decided he'd get his price stable cryptocurrency and so he started the Luna from Terra which could be uh, very widely used. Then we've got Bitcoin SV Bitcoin SV is Craig Wright, uh, who claims he's Satoshi, um, and been some interesting innuendos associated with that. But he also did the big block, which brings down the transaction costs. It also is quite a big market cap. It's right up there with Bitcoin Cash, 
um, yeah, and um, it, it, from an Africa pers perspective, um, Bitcoin SV, BSV is supporting CentB, which is a wallet across Africa by a good friend of mine, Lorian Gamarov, which could make it um, more widely adopted across Africa. Then Verge, XBG. Verge is a, um, a fast, they claim it's a five second settlement time. It's used a lot for e-commerce and adult and casino. Dogecoin was done for fun. Um, so Dogecoin just, as I said, was a fun project, but it actually became very widely accepted. And it was a fork of Litecoin and could become a useful payment coin for Africans. In Decred, DCR, it's a Bitcoin fork and it's got uh, a 10% that goes back into a treasury for development and they're starting to build quite a few things around like smart contracts, atomic swaps and so on that might make that a good payment coin. And then my last one on the list is PIVX, P-I-V-X, which is a fork of Dash and is a privacy coin. So those are the top 15 that I think might be uh, forerunners in terms of use, usage for payment because their uh, founders and their foundations are pushing and promoting them and developing them as coins that could be used for payment. Thanks for everything. I hope you have a fantastic day. And if you're looking for payment across Africa, go to AfricanPaymentSolutions.com. Send us a note and we'll organize for you just a refresher. Is that Kenya, South Africa, Nigeria, the main e-commerce hubs. We'll get you paid in one of those and others if you need it. So give us a shout, AfricanPaymentSolutions.com. Uh, send us an inquiry and we'll see how we can help you with that. Well, I hope you have a fantastic day. And tomorrow I'll do a little bit more on some wild cards uh, uh, that might gazump this and become mainstream digital currencies for e-commerce payment in the next few years to come. Have a fantastic day. See you tomorrow.